Good morning, my name is Paula Mandel and I'm the Deputy Director for the Pima County Health Department. And I'm with you this morning to talk about hand washing, why it's important to wash our hands, when we should think about washing our hands, and how we should be washing our hands. So we are in the middle of cold and flu season and now we know that we are experiencing the COVID-19 virus. When should we be washing our hands? There are many times throughout our day that we should be washing our hands, not only before we are eating or after we go to the bathroom, but we should be thinking about washing our hands before, after, and during our food preparation. We should be thinking about washing our hands when we're taking care of someone who is ill, someone who may be experiencing vomiting or diarrhea. It's important that we think about washing our hands after changing a diaper or assisting someone who is young and has gone into the bathroom. We want to make sure that we are washing our hands after we've blown our nose, covered our cough, or our sneeze. We want to make sure that we are washing our hands before and after we treat a cut or a wound. We want to make sure that we are washing our hands when we're taking care of our animals. So after we are played with our pets, after we have given them their food and after we are picking up their waste. We want to make sure that we are washing our hands when we have finished um, interacting with garbage. There are many times throughout the day that we should be thinking about washing our hands. And how should we wash our hands? One of the most important things that we can do is wash our hands under running water. The temperature of water does not really matter. It can be cold or warm. Studies have been done to show that it's not really the temperature of the water, it's the impact of the other actions and the soap that has the greatest impact. One thing to remember is that when we're washing our hands, and especially if we're doing it in warm or hot water continuously, it can cause our skin to become irritated. And if it becomes irritated, it may become sore and cracked. And that's a way to introduce germs or illnesses into our system. We want to make sure that we apply our soap and we're lathering our hands really well, that we're washing and scrubbing the back of our hands, the palms of our hands, in between our fingers and underneath our fingernails. And we want to make sure that we are doing this for at least 20 seconds. The best way to make sure that we do that for that 20 or 30 seconds is to hum to ourselves either the ABC song or happy birthday. And then once we have washed our hands with the soap and lather, we have vigorously um, applied and the soap um, and got a good lather, we want to make sure that we rinse our hands under running water. That running water helps to eliminate all of the germs, the dirt, the grease that we have lifted from our hands during that lathering and soaping um, action. And then once we've rinsed our hands, we want to make sure that we dry them with a clean towel, and we want to dry our hands just as long as we washed our hands. Wet hands are uh, the best way to transmit, again, germs and illnesses. So we want to make sure that our hands are dry using a clean towel or we're, you, we're air drying them. We appreciate you taking time to view our video today about hand washing. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website at www.pima.gov forward slash COVID-19. There's plenty of information about hand washing and other um, ways that we can help keep ourselves healthy during this time.